Hello everyone and welcome to or welcome back to Legend of Zelda Diminished Cap. Today's upload is a little bit late. Sorry about that. But we are currently in the Cave of Flames. Trying to get the fire element while we are waiting for Malari to craft us or recraft us the Ouch. The Picori Blade. You swipe twice. Oh, oops. Swipe at these guys twice, they freeze up, and then we could pick them up, possibly. Oh! These guys go into shell form. Right, they have shells. They roll or they just start spinning towards you. Bop them with your shield and then we are good to go. We're able to swipe at them. Alright, introduction to like likes. Loopy likes. Guys, the cells are rupees. I think they drain the amount of rupees that they s that that are shown. Not what I wanted. So pretty much, the minecart allows us to go through these doors. I really don't want to waste bombs, but I keep accidentally pressing A to pick up these pots, move these pots, which is not ideal. Fortunately, we have an abundance of them. Ouch. Okay. Now, here, we gotta kill all of these enemies. Shoot them at each other. Kind of goofy. And that gives us access to a Minish Portal. Gotta be careful. We cannot really hit enemies. These holes that, if, that we would be able to just kind of hop into as a smaller guy or a regular sized guy. We would just hop into the hole and we can hop out. As a minish size, though, we can't really do that. But there are perks to being small. We are able to kind of navigate our way through places in the dungeon we wouldn't be able to access before. So, for example, here I could jump down. Can't go that way. But we're regular size, and I could get this chest that's up here. Which is our map. that crumble. They do rejuvenate though. So we want to look at pots, make sure we can get that out of the way. There we go. Those 
parts are for the ones that move. We want to try to get off of it as quickly as possible because the... Well... Oh shoot. That fell in the river or the lava pool. But didn't really want that to happen. We could use these pill bug like creatures to fill in the holes in the ground. This is useful as it helps us cross one and two. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> this opens the door. And we can push this chest all the way into this hole on the other side. This either gives us... I don't think it gives anything... Never mind, it gives us something important. It gives us a small key. I keep pressing the select button because I'm trying to open the map. Now that we have a key, we could go backwards and open this door. Cross the room, hit that switch, and let's move on. By hitting the switch, we are not we now go up on the railroad. And I think I don't want to do that. Cart. And we have this face down cart. We can't really do anything with it right now because oh, it's face down. We can't ride face down cart. So we'll just run on the railroad or the tracks. Not really a railroad. And as we've already gotten a game over, you know it would be really sad if that's like the only game over we get this whole run. But getting this heart piece. Or heart, yeah, piece of heart gives us another heart container, makes it harder to, for us to die. We hop down here. We got a load of these spikies, spiky choo choos. Swell on them. This gives us Kane Apache. Kane Apache, what does it do? It shoots this little beam. Shoots objects. So that's one thing. And we could also throw things into holes. Throw this beam into holes. And kind of allows us to shoot up into the air. So flips things, allows us to flip other objects. I believe this should give us another small key. If I start pushing it, that is. Yep. Now I gotta find out what door this opens. I think... Can I go back this way? Okay, but well that's fine. Now we kind of need a cart in order to progress. Since there's no cart, it becomes small. And then to forward. Ouch. Part. These red 
I can't really call them enemies, so they can't take damage. But let's say these red discs on the floor. These red discs on the floor are able to awaken. And we'll go in the direction you were. This, we are able to move the cart. Change the direction of the cart. And boom. Over here. No, I didn't want to go back to that cart. Okay, got some more pill bugs. I'm just gonna toss them in the hole. There we go. Now I could pull this lever. And then when it's... So this switch, I have no idea how... By what logic this works. Unless it's like... There's somehow wireless connection to the switches. But by hitting that switch, those pillars drop and I can make some progress. Welcome. Another Kingstone piece. The door is blocked here, yeah. Yes, it is. So we gotta make our way around. I'm gonna wait till that block moves down. Flip it over with the cane. Oh! Flip it over. Flip it over. Now, as long as it doesn't crumble underneath me, we're good. I'm gonna prep these pots, because by prepping these pots, I don't need to worry about, you know, like, uh. Oh! Didn't mean to burn myself. Okay. Made it across safely. Do have to make our way up. And let's see, hold on. What's over on this side? Ah, we could use this whirlwind to get onto this platform-ish area. I don't want to call this a platform. I would call this an upper ledge. But I'm not going to pass up a kingstone piece. It, this this part is very straightforward. Hop into the whirlwind, make our way to the next area. I see a chest up there. 100 rupees. Oh wait, no, it goes more than one. It goes over two, 200. Is the cap 300? That might be the case. Three hundred, five hundred, then nine, nine hundred ninety-nine. Can I land?
land on this platform. Yes, I can. And this gives me the biggie. Any more chests? Nope, we've been in all rooms. I believe we've gotten everything. I hope. Ideally, there's no more pieces of heart. I think there's only that one. I'll check later. But we have this drop and we shall go down. This is our boss room. Oh, did not mean to get hit. Okay, we, what we want to do is get to an area where the shell is exposed. I think the box is called Glee Rock. After flipping the shell and enraging and wailing on the back, it'll spew flames out. You kind of want to back off when the shell starts or the back starts to shake. It helps to extinguish the flames with your sword. Because as you can see, it gets kind of cluttered on the top side, or where the flames are being spewed. Now it's very short, whale wailing. Stay on the outer edge to prevent the lava from coming up to you. definitely come out faster but we can use that to our advantage to reposition ourselves not if I step into if I step into the fire like that then definitely no we do not have enough we cannot use it to our advantage so we can skew on the left side or the right that's the right flip the shell okay that should be the final blows not if I jump into the fire like that, you fool. There we go. One more swing. One swing did it. Okay. And with that, two dungeons now. We now have the fire element. Not that I couldn't just walk back in. Well, actually, it's all one way, so even if I wanted to go back to the dungeon room, I have to go through the whole thing. Great. I can't jump up. Jump down that way. Let's go this way. Oh, the blade looks better. We don't have the... F we don't have the... Well, we have the white sword. Oh, that's... Misclick. So we gotta infuse the elements with into the sword. Or we cannot use it to fight Vati. Can I fuse kinstones with anybody? No. But... What I am able to do is exit to the exit to the left. 
and make our way back to Hyrule Castle. And, uh, get bigger and scale down the mountain. Shouldn't take too long. on the mountain. I'll say that that's where we call it. Which we should be almost done. I do believe that the white sword is already stronger than the smooth sword. Not to talk trash about our grandfather in game. But I guess I guess it makes sense for um, mythical beings to be better at creating weapons. Oh well, I don't know. Okay, well we will go to the sanctuary in a bit, but that will be all for now. So thank you all for watching, and until then, see you in the next one.